Hello, I'll show you how to, ex uh, to execute TTCN3 example uh, using Eclipse Titan plugin. So let's begin. Let's open the Sigwin environment. Okay, so the Eclipse uh, where I'm working is under uh, Sigwin environment. So let's go open the Eclipse. Okay, we are using a uh, Mars, ver Mars version. Okay, let's just create a new workspace. Mm, let's call it here. New folder, let's call it tutorial. So there is already no so let's call it uh, TTC in three workspace okay so now I have a uh, new workspace and So we are opening this workspace for the first time. a bit slow okay so we have this is where we have the environment so this is the welcome page so let's close it whenever we start a new workspace we need to do one thing at the beginning so we need to define the location of the compiler so basically we go to the preferences uh, and we go to titan preferences sorry yeah yeah it's actually there so the titan installation pad this is the for the compiler and it says that this is version of the compiler use CR RL113 200-5 R3A. So it it recognizes the compiler, which is sounds good. So let's start with a, a simple example. Actually, uh, and here I'm going to use a, a built-in example. Let me change the perspective. Uh, so I need to open the perspective, and I need to use the Titan editing perspective. So if you see here, it's going to change now we have different uh, settings for the environment so new titan project let's call it hello world and the project uh, uh, it's actually it's hello hello world uh, built in so we click next so the same thing keep it the same we use the source folder src and the working directory is bin so this is the built-in uh, example you don't need to write any code it's basically available for you here actually every time you open a project it tells you exactly what you need to modify there is some default variables has been uh, defined but you basically you can change these things as an example you can have parallel mode or single mode or you can have uh, uh, generate make file for use with function test runtime also you can cha add some additional libraries if you would like to use you can change the compiler 
many things uh, you can do in the make file I won't actually go through this I just want to show you uh, let me just move this one there's something here okay so there's nothing I'm doing this is hanged, hanged up okay so this is the hello world as you can see we have my example ttcn3 and here we have it's already built in there is the module he's defining the module here and we have uh, the ports and the components so we have in, a, in and out uh, car string and we have component for the MTC and uh, we basically we have only we use the same yeah we use the same uh, component for the MTC and for the system these are the we have two test cases one we send hello world and if it's been sent it pass and the other one actually it tells uh, when it receives hello ttc n3 uh, sends hello world actually here yeah and if uh, you receive hello mttc n3 then you pass otherwise if timeout will be inconvenience if if you receive something else it will fail here we have the control uh, section where actually we execute uh, this case one and this case two so we have two test cases here and uh, as you can see also it the, the 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 skeleton or the port uh, what it defines here what actually we are sending through the ports what's important here is the outgoing uh, send so we actually send back here's the puts uh, send parameters so it, it sends it back uh, I will discuss this the in details in other example anyway I the important thing here I would like to show you how actually you are going to we are going to build it and you clean it clean it and build it again so you will see that we will have we're supposed to have uh, the bin folder actually it's hidden so basically we need to by default it's hidden uh, select working set no we need to make it uh, visible customize view yeah customize view uh, so here it says filters so what we are filtering is this thing we don't need to filter actually uh, I did it before Java output folder we don't want to filter it uh, what else uh, inner class files keep it like this anyway we can actually uncomment all of them just in case uh, Titan exclude resources Titan working directory this is a working directory we need to keep it uh, to un we don't want to f we don't want to filter it so now if we click so now we have the bin here's the bin actually shows you uh, the make file it doesn't actually show that this is the make file sorry the make file and uh, these are the object files and the headers and this is the executable uh, executable uh, hello world ex project so now let's let's run it try to run it and see what we will get if we say run as titan parallel launcher what you will see now see now it will start executing and it's there isn't any actually host uh, connect so we need to connect the host and to create the MTC so let me open the perspective of the Titan no not preferences uh, perspective open perspective of 
executing so this is the executing uh, perspective for Titan as you can see here we have uh, this is uh, we are executing hello world example and here we are waiting to create first the, the host controllers and now it's creating the host controller we we'll make it running background next we need to do create MTC so the MTC is created as you see from the console now it's ready see this is the component MTC is being created and it's waiting to start so let's start testing start execution we can do it in either using uh, control parts or test cases in my case I will use for example hello world test case 1 and I need to repeat it 3 if or you can actually do it 3 or 4 times how many times you want to do so if you click OK you will see that this is the result of the running the test cases uh, the verdict is pass let me just close it and get back to the editing now we don't have the log file seems that it's been filtered so probably we need to unfilter the log files uh, package declaration syntax number there should be a log file here empty parent package uh, where is the log file strange huh anyway let's try let's try to refresh the project yeah see if we refresh it now we have the log folder it, it has the test cases so we can actually see the output as sequence diagram so if we open MSC view as you can see that we have we are showing that how actually the MTC component actually send message to the system component so this is where actually we map the ports together we connect them together and this is where actually we send the first case actually it sends hello world and it pass doesn't reply back uh, so we did it here four times which is it has the same thing so if we we can look actually what has been sent let's try the second uh, this case so if we right click and run as Titan parallel launcher okay let's go to the execution now start the host controller and then <coughs> create the MTC now let's start the execution and we need to we select the second test case so nothing happened I'll tell you why so there is a timeout now see like there is a timeout and we have a uh, verdict called in Kong so we have it four times now this is the first time it waits for another timeout and the second time now this is the third time and the last time last try for running this case
okay so now it's done if we go back to the TTC entry code we will see what's the problem actually let me just close it and <coughs> if we go to that one we see that because when you send a message hello world if if there is a message back called hello TTC entry it will pass in our case there isn't any message has been sent so it waits for certain time till it times out and it send a verdict in conk and the third one is when actually you send a, a reply back but it's different than hello ttc entry okay let's try to fix this problem so if i need to go i need to go to the uh, port skeleton and in the function called outgoing send here is actually send parameter this is where actually hello word actually sent and this parameter has a value called hello word so if i want to return back uh, in order to make this this case pass i need to type incoming message and this message has to be same as that one hello ttc n3 it has to be typically the same okay now let's build it clean and build again and see if the now the message uh, that is case pass <coughs> okay now it's done now let's run execute the TTC entry run as parallel and we go to the Titan executing perspective slow a little bit okay good so now typically actually I can run automatic execution so the automatic execution actually will start the host controllers and create MTC so if I click here it will tell me uh, which this case need to execute I'm executing the second one so if I double click so now it's doing C now it's pass uh, already exists overwrite okay so now I have the fourth this case uh, that is case two actually with four times is been passed so if i go back to the editing and let me just refresh because there's a new log file so now i have the hello world for this case two if i double click on it i will see that you send a message called hello world and you get back message back reply with type car string as hello ttc entry okay so this is good actually this is uh, says that uh, this case 2 is passed we can actually make it uh, fail so if we go back to the port skeleton and make add anything here or change it let's see let me just remove ttc entry i make it just hello hello guys now this will fail because it's not exact as uh, what expect uh, to get so if we right click uh, where is build project anyway we can go here and clean and build okay so now I'm um, because every time you make a changes in the code you need to build it again so now let's run it and see if that is case it is case 2 will fail okay now it's running
you see it's running or not, we'll go to the console yeah, it's running now if I go to the execution Titan executing respective automatic starting same, this case 2 with 4 times ok see now it's doing, see it's fa it, it fails overwrite so because he was not receiving what he's supposed to receive so if I go to the log file and I need to refresh it refresh the whole project ok yeah this will tell us that that there isn't actually the, it, it fails so it doesn't show the MTC see let me see yeah see, some of them actually sometimes doesn't show the MTC but this second one actually shows so he sends we send actually a hello world and we get back let me just close that one we get back hello guys and this is actually this case will fail that's for today thank you